Hi everyone. So I've got one thing I want to say about Mr. Shahib, Mr. Allah Shahib. Um, as you all know, I'm no lover of, of Voodoo and Nada and the rest of those clowns. Um, they're all all in it together. They're all out for coin and clicks and subs and hoodwinking everybody for the sake of of getting making a living basically making a dishonest and dishonorable living but this man here mr allah shaheeb said once he gets to a thousand subscribers he will spill the tea on foodie and salah i believe he's got over four thousand now everybody flocking to his channel to listen to what he's got to say which is very little a lot of words, but saying very little and nothing that we didn't know. But one thing that, well, two things that perplex me. One, why is he in, why is he in touch with Nada El Shami? You know, the person who was convicted of um, stabbing his ex-girlfriend and is now in court for other alleged incidents. Why is he speaking to him on the phone? But more pertinently here, why has Mr Shaheeb, Mr Allah Shaheeb, set up a camera so that it would be directly focused upon Salah and Foodie Beauty when they were visiting as guests in Mr Allah Shabib's home is that sort of could that be described as maybe an, an attempt an alleged attempt to blackmail or an alleged attempt to give your stories such as they are credibility I'll be back tomorrow, but none of you come out of this smelling of roses. None of you. Not even Jay's fluid would take away the stench of corruption from all of you. You're disgusting. And now you added into the bargain. Your lawyers? Why have you got lawyers all of a sudden? Mr. Allah Shabib, why would you be speaking to lawyers? It's most odd. But to me, if guests came to my home, I shouldn't, certainly wouldn't have cameras set up so that I could take pictures of them to show on YouTube without their knowledge or without their consent. Pretty bad. Pretty bad, Mr. Shaheeb. Back tomorrow, everybody.